Make no mistake, this is still a relevant bag. What's up YouTube? Welcome to my channel. This is Lei. I do videos on luxury, styling, and beauty. And if you like any of those, I invite you to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to ring the bell so you never miss any of my uploads. I do videos two to three times a week, but in between videos, you can find me on Instagram as Petite 8 I will put that up here. Definitely follow me on Instagram if you want to see outfit inspirations, things like that. And by the way, feel free to check on the description box down below at any point. I will have the products I mentioned linked down there. And so now, let's jump right in. So this is the Furla Mini Metropolis. I believe this is one of Furla's most popular designs. And I will explain why because this is quite, you know, an amazing little bag right here. There's not a lot of buzz about this bag right now, but I actually think it's a great bag, to be honest. I got this for my birthday about two years ago, and as you can see, it has held up pretty well. We will, you know, discuss every feature in detail, and I will get into that later. This retails for $328 here in the U.S., but I got this from the outlet for about 30% off. You don't normally find this in the outlets. You are more likely to find the Julia in the outlets. And that is, it looks similar to this one, but it's actually a different bag. We'll put a picture up here so you guys will see what I mean. But that one doesn't have feet and also doesn't have this lock feature right here. This usually comes with a key, but since I got it from the outlet, they did not give me any of that. And they actually told me that you don't get a key for the newer batches of Furla Metropolis, even if you get them from the regular store. I'm not sure what this color is called exactly, but this comes in many other different colors as well. So you have the black and the red, which I believe are the best sellers according to their website, but it also comes in a beautiful gray and you know, a very light pink that I think is called Moonstone. That's what I originally wanted, but this one was what I found in store and it was on sale and I actually love this one as well. The material is a textured leather. I don't know if the camera will catch the small grains of the leather right there, but this is a scratch-proof leather. I've had it for almost two years now, and as you can see, it has held up really nicely. The leather is in a pristine condition. I don't see any scratches or any wrinkles. Yeah. You can find newer versions of this on their website, but of course, they will always have the classic. They have a new version with a top handle, and that is really, really cute as well. They also have one that comes with a quilted velvet material that is actually stunning. So you guys can check those out. Again, I will have everything linked down below. The seams are also tone on tone, so I like it about that because it just has this really clean look to it. It also comes with a removable chain strap. I really, really like this chain. As you can see, it's very unique. I've never seen anything like it. It's almost like a rope. Some people don't like it because they say that it digs in your shoulder, but I think this is such a small bag to, you know, accommodate a lot of things. Never really had any issues with this chain. I do like the look of this. I actually remove it a lot from this bag and use it on my other mini bags because I really, really like the look of this. It's actually also adjustable. I am on the pity side, so what I do is just kind of put it around like that to make it a little bit shorter. I'm five feet tall and this is how it looks on me crossbody. As you can see, it hits me perfectly right here. I did knot this once on one side. And also, I can wear this on one shoulder, like this. And if I want, I can even remove the straps and kind of just use it as a small clutch. Obviously, holding it this way will put pressure on this part of the bag, as you can see. If you're not going to use it as often as a clutch, then I don't think you will have any problem with this part. The bottom has four metal feet right there. I actually like that a lot because it prevents the bottom of the bag from getting a lot of scratches. And it also has this extra patch of leather that actually makes the bottom part a lot harder. So when I stop this, this part doesn't really sag. This also comes with a push lock button. As you can see, there are two buttons right there, but only one is actually moving. So you press onto the left one like so, and that opens up the bag. It's not very fuzzy to get in and out of, so I like it about this bag. I also like that this has this leather detail right here because that really helps a lot in, you know, making it easier to close the bag like so. So I've never had any issues with this one, even when, you know, I pack this to the brim, it's easy to close. This is a very shiny hardware and right now it has a lot of scratches right there because I've used this a lot and I'm not one to really baby my bags. I like 
being able to enjoy them and use them. The other side of the flap is this suede material. This is actually where you see a lot of wear apart from the hardware because as you can see, there are already wrinkles on this part of the bag, but it doesn't really bother me. It also says made in Italy on this part of the metal right there. It's just very tiny. And the interior of the bag is a textured kind of fabric that's actually very similar color to the leather. It also has this one interior pocket that is actually quite generous. I can insert a card holder right there. Sometimes my key pouch can actually fit in there sometimes. You can also see another hardware right here. It just says Perla Genuine Leather. It's very simple. This is where you can find the ends of the strap right there. And you can just easily remove it doing it like this. Kind of just insert it to the hole and then it's loose right there. So now this is free to use for your other bags. I also use this for my mini pochette that I just got and I do love this a lot. Overall, I think the Furla Mini Metropolis is actually a great bag to have in your collection and not to mention the price point is actually very good. Luxury but it doesn't cost too much if you want something that, you know, of high quality, still luxury but you know, won't break the bag. This is something that you can definitely check out. The quality is absolutely amazing. I've had this bag for almost two years and as you can see, the leather is in perfect condition. You can only see the wear on the hardware and also in, inside which is actually not a big deal because nobody will really see it. It's something that I would consider a classic because of the silhouette of the bag, because of how simple it is. This is something that you can keep in your collection for 10 years and I know I will still find myself reaching for this after all those years. So thank you for watching this review. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram as Le Petit A. See you guys next time.